Hey there guys, it sucks, and welcome back to Duck. In the last episode, we got so close to killing Vlad, and then he sniped me again. So, this time, I think we need to be a little sneakier. As if that wasn't obvious enough. But... I've got to avoid that sniper beam at all costs. Because if I don't, it's only going to end badly. Okay, so occasionally you'll go over to the balcony. That could work for me. Are you in fizzling range? Not there. But if I was to say, get down to the bottom of the stairs, would you then be in fizzling range? No. So, um, if I fizzle you... Okay, right, you're fizzled. Stick into cover. Die! There we go, right. Run around here. Into cover. Get throw a grenade at where I'm not. That's the smart thing to do. I got it! Oh, balls. Come on. Come on out. I'm just going to create a corpse pile, aren't I? Over here. Hold. Alright, vampire style. I last saw him over there. There we go, right. Free blood! I can afford to fizzle you. Right now, all you corpses, you're all gonna come with me into a nice pile. Make sure they're hidden behind the box. But I know Vlad is going to try and snipe me at some point. Because he's a dick. Maybe if I sneak around a little more. Get it to cover, Eric. Right, there's Mr. Vlad. Who has shadow leaped away. Oh, he's a nuisance. We at Geoforge try to make the world a Shit. little bit better every day. Our solar and wind farms around the world. Where are you, Vlad? Sure that our children will inherit a clean and healthy environment thanks to renewable energy. There you are. Prepare to die. For the future. Yes, we got him. You shall snipe no Vlad more. Was defeated. The hunter thought I was easy prey. In the end, he was the prey. His blood flowed slowly into my mouth. It tasted delicious. Mm. Irresistible. Tastes like chocolate Yet and I controlled cheese. controlled myself. I still remembered blooming and the pain all too well. It wasn't long before the pain came. My surroundings blurred as I writhed on the floor. The darkness once again grabbed at me greedily. Are we going to see the angel again? Yes, Wrong we blood, are. Wrong Eric. Wrong blood. Again! The angel came and saved me from the pain and darkness. Then the angel whispered something. It was so quiet that I almost didn't understand. Steiner. Steiner. I had no idea what the angel was trying to tell me. Was that a place? A name? Well, it's obviously I had a to name. Find out who or what Steiner was. Rose would know. Isn't Steiner the knight from uh, Final Fantasy IX? 
I returned to the sanctuary, again unsuccessful, but this time I had a clue I could follow up. I had to talk to Rose. Okay, fine, we'll talk to Rose. But, look what we got. Three power points. Two blood units every time you feed on an enemy. Yes, please. That's going to make my life a little easier. Right, let's go talk to Rose. Hey, man. Good to see you back. How'd it go? So-so. Rose here? No, she's in a meeting, bro. But I think she should be back in five or so. Can I help you? Okay, Tom. You can uh, you can answer why you sent me after Vlad. I killed Vlad. Badass, man! Keep it up and pretty soon the whole damn town will be yours. I Remind hope so. me never, ever, ever to mess with you, dude. And what meeting is Rose in exactly? Who's Rose meeting with? Another vampire? I think he doesn't like the club. I mean, pff, whatever, man. Rose will take care of it. And who's this guy I've got to kill? Do you know someone named Steiner? Steiner? You mean Victor Steiner? Sure, man. I mean, I don't like know him, but I've heard of him. Damn, dude, everyone's heard of Victor Steiner. The guy more or less owns the city. He's like the vampire dictator, man. You should totally talk to the twins about Steiner. I'll come back later. That's cool. See you, man. Okay. So it looks like I'm taking down Vampire Hitler. Right. I've got to talk to the twins. Right, let's start with a bitch. Let's start with her. Oi. You. Hey, Eric. Right. I'm not even going to ask about you. So, what do you know about Steiner? Tell me about Steiner. You want to know about Steiner? My sister and I, we used to work at his club. That guy poses as a gentleman, but he's a psychopath. In addition to his club and casino, he offers entertainment for men. The women who work there for him are really fucked up. I think he put some vampire shit on them. At any rate, they idolize him, and apparently it doesn't even bother them that he has ghouls as pets. Only invited guests are allowed. If you want to go, I just happen to have a kind of club ID card. You can have it if you want. I don't ever want to go back there. Okay. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Okay, so it's a, a rival nightclub. How's it going? Alright, but I'm busy. I'm mixing right now, you know? See you later. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you, bitch! At least I've got your club ID. Right. Now to go and talk to my favourite woman in the whole wide world. After we, uh, do a little feeding. Hey baby, you're looking good. Anything I can do for you? Yes, actually. Let's go somewhere quieter. Sure thing, hon. Oh yeah, oh that's hey, the stuff. that was fun. Don't forget me, baby. How could I forget you? Very easily when I talk to you. Hey, Eric. Good to see you. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm gonna have a drink first. I am very thirsty after my mission. Give me a drink. Sure thing, Eric. One drink coming up. That's better. Hi, Eric. What can I do for you? Well, I can think of a few things, but I need the information first. Tell me about Steiner. Steiner? My sister and I worked for him for a while. When we started there, we weren't even vampires. He has a club here in town, although club is putting it really mildly. It's an amusement imperium with clubs, casinos, entertainment, and much more. And whores. I've never met Steiner himself, so I can't tell you much there, unfortunately. He spends most of his time away from the club at other places. Once I became a vampire, I found out that he more or less rules the city. He is by far the oldest and most powerful vampire here. All the others are afraid of him. My sister might be able to tell you more. No, she just... she's just a bitch. See you later. See ya, Eric. Yes, you will.
Right, hopefully, if I follow this waypoint, I should be able to find out a bit more information. Okay, back upstairs. Looks like we're talking to Tom again. Oh no, Rose is back. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did I hear right? Are you going up against Victor Steiner? Yes, I am. Worth a try. Oh, Eric, you're insane. Steiner is the most powerful vampire in the city. Maybe in the whole country. I know you're strong, but you don't stand a chance against him. What made you even think of him at all? I had a vision. A vision? You throw your life away for a lousy vision? Yes. Do you have a better plan? Vlad didn't work. No, unfortunately, I don't have a better plan, Eric. I wish I did, but I don't. I don't imagine I can talk you out of it. All right, I'll help. You're absurdly lucky. Yes, Steiner I am. Steiner is usually on the road a lot, but tonight he's actually in town and at his club. You'll have to do it quickly because the sun will be coming up soon and he might not even be in town tomorrow. Oh, in addition, the guy has his own army in the club. You'll need a distraction. Fortunately, I have an idea. Does it involve a large explosion? What can you tell me about Steiner? He is the oldest and most powerful vampire in town. He could sure. probably tell you stories about the Crusades. I have no idea what kinds of powers he has, but they will be very powerful. Oh, please remember that all of our fates are in your hands. If he defeats you and finds out that we helped you, we are dead. Forever. Don't worry. He won't be defeating me. Oh, you really must be nuts. Yes, yes, pretty much. And he will be defeating me quite a lot, I imagine. So, tell me about Steiner's club. What can you tell me about his club? His club is called Atlantis. The sanctuary is nothing compared to that place. He has got bars, clubs, casinos, etc. all together in one huge building. And don't forget his hookers! are mercenaries. You have to assume that they know about vampires. You might even run into other vampires there, so be careful. And what kind of distraction do you have in mind? Please be a large explosion. What kind of distraction? The club has visitors around the clock. If you can get panic to break out, it should distract at least some of the guards. Lucky for you, I happen to have a few smoke bombs. Well, well. You are full of surprises. If you only knew just what I have stored here. So, first you have to get into the club. Then you place the smoke bombs. Once the visitors see the smoke, they will flee in panic. The guards will have their hands full trying to keep the police and firefighters and the press off their backs. With luck, you can take advantage of the chaos and only have to deal with half of Steiner's army. Okay, it looks like we'll be dealing with that half an army in the next episode. So, until then, I've been Silas. We finally got Vlad. And I will see you next time.